Hey everybody, Asher here, and it is Free Play Friday, where today we're going to be playing Dodgeball Academia, a game that actually kind of rose above the top from some very strong releases that came out this week, including Dreamscaper and Death Trash entering early access, Dreamscaper leaving early access, um, Jupiter Hell leaving early access as well. Um, also, Starmancer came out this week as a game I was looking at, but it needs a little bit more time in the oven, but that's okay, because Dodgeball Academia, as I said, has really caught my attention here. It is, if you've played Golf Story on the Switch, and I haven't, but a lot of people that I've seen play this game kind of make the comparison. It is a game about a sport, but it's a game that also has a little bit of a story that you follow. So what we're going to be doing is just diving in. Instead of doing like the very beginning of the game here, we're just going to go into the, pretty much the end of episode one. Because you know me, I like playing things in context here. So here's us, our plucky hero protagonist, Otto, in the dodgeball world, where we have Mina, our uh, teammate as well. And pretty much the story of this, we're going to be uh, diving into it real quick. All you need to know is that there's dodgeball to be played. We go to a school, we're ending the day, and Otto's very excited because he went from the worst dodgeball school in the world to the best one in the world to the point that they have a big spinny dodgeball that's a perpetual motion machine because it ended the great dodgeball war from before. And now we're prepping for the big tournament. Good night, Bloomy. Thanks for showing me around the school today. No worries, Otto. Let's do our best tomorrow because we have a tournament to play and so many characters to meet and so much saving to do. Wow, all this menu, and we have $15 to our name. So, the next day, this is the beginning of uh, Chapter 2. Like I said, this game's been, like, a blast so far. Um, but it is very much just a uh, sort of go-around. It's, it's very much a little sports RPG, but the dodgeball is uh, very reminiscent of the old NES uh, dodgeball Sunsoft game. Good morning, so when's our first match? Huh? Oh, I don't know, we have class now. Class? Um, this is school, you know, we have class for Fortunato today. Er, I'm so tired of classes. Well, we haven't even taken a single one yet. Did your previous school have a lot of them? Yes, it did. Oh, let's just get it over with. Oh, God, we gotta go to school. The tournament's on? Is it, though? Okay. Well, Fortunato is one of the administrators. Mina says, yo, gang, let's go get this day going. So, here we are. Now, there are little things you can do to explore the world, like rolling a ball. You can pick up dodgeballs, and there are, um, we're in our little dormitory right now because it's a happy school and we have some scary looking pixely people here, but you can also throw a dodgeball occasionally to like open up treasure chests and stuff. We got a blue ice popsicle from a treasure chest, thanks. Um, I'm designed the best dodgeball board game of all time, I bet you are. Hey, has anyone seen the TV remote anywhere? Nope, that's good for the dormitory common room. Such a rad trophy, I'll definitely get myself one day. But yeah, everyone's here to play dodgeball. So we'll uh, see kind of what's outside. I'm just going to try to push through this a little bit because, like I said, part of the game is just about the exploration and trying to do side quests and things like that because it's that kind of game. Um, couldn't sleep well. Okay, I'm going to grab a dodgeball just to see what we can do here. I'm going to bump into walls here because that's what we do. Oh! Someone wants to fight me. Hey, I'm challenging you and you can't decline. This is how we do it at Dodgeball Academia. All right, so this is going to look very familiar to you, perhaps. So we have uh, happy looking people and much like regular Dodgeball, you can, uh, you can catch a ball, but if you mistime it, then you're not going to be able to catch it. All right. Wow, actually. Kind of lame here. Let's tag in real quick though, because her uh, her ability is a little bit different. Whereas we have uh, Otto who can catch. Oh, he's gonna go on the other side. So this is a special type of rule here. But she has a counter counter attack. So it, miss, it requires the same timing as catching. So you don't want to mess it up too bad, especially because she has less health. Because she's a little bit of a lower level. So let's uh, let's switch into getting hit twice. That's great. But if we let the ball get to the other side... Oh, I tried to catch with the X button. Kinda doing a bad job talking and playing, but that's okay. Just threw him into the sky. Broke his whole family. I don't know what he's doing picking his nose right there at the end, but... Yeah, even though supposedly uh, Blooney is there with us, he doesn't actually play. 
Okay, so strength is permanently boosted from getting to level 7. Let's see what you moron has to say. Ouch! Beaten by a rookie! Yeah, I bet. Like, if we look at our team here, we have Otto, who has 4 strength. And uh, has abilities warming up. Your strength is permanently boosted, so we'll get another one at level 10. Um, Mina, meanwhile, doesn't have anything yet, but one of her moves... Um, is to counter with the B, and I need to remember that she can roll as well. Alright. So it looks like we have some fights on the way to school. Still think about that one match I lost. You've been thinking about that all day, so... Uh-oh. So what does he say? Just a little fist here. Not so fast! You're my next opponent! Wow, I'm just trying to get to class, guys. Fortunately, we did heal back up here. Uh, okay. You wanna throw a ball like that's fine. And it is controlled by, like, the sticks, so... There we go. This time that a little bit better. Because apparently the, uh, action does get very difficult. Wow, did I just get a double kill? No, not quite. Okay, let's see if I can counter this correctly. There we go. I said that the animations are cute and everything like that, true, but it is it is a game where you can grind and style and try to uh, win everything here. Oh no, I think the Dodge Shop is reopened today. Look, a convenient campus store where you can use all of our student loan money. Isn't it a lovely day to battle? Oi. So we're... Dodge, dip, duck, diving, and catching the ball. Where's patches when I need them? Because we don't take people out by, um... We don't get people out by catching them. But, if you saw there, sometimes just hitting the ball in the air does end up making good things happen. Oh, I was really close to doing a flawless match there. And I don't know if this really affects some um, experience doing it this way. Let's pass over here. Boop. Okay, I need to get better with not throwing stuff, like right when people get knocked down. I like try to double tap them. That doesn't work. So I guess Blooney's like our team manager. He's kind of a wimp. Maybe he'll find his strength eventually. What a lovely day to be defeated. I agree. What do you gotta say? Now the shop is real. We can all get geared up for battle. Alright, so it's a dodgeball store. I can't believe it. They finally got new figures of magical dodge girls. I need them all. Well, I need them too, apparently. Dude, those new pairs of Air Dodgers 91 are lit. Who, do they still say lit? I guess they do. I used to love family games like Ticket to Dodgeball. Lately, I've been really interested in RPGs. My group is currently building a campaign in the world of balls and dragons. <gasps> well, there's a joke there. We're going to skip it, though. All right. So, hey, Carlos. Oh, look, he's here. The guy with the protagonist vibes. Welcome to my shop. The kind words are much appreciated. Oh, you'll find equipment, headgear, footwear. Selection's kind of limited, but keep checking back. Yes, I would like to browse the catalog with my $15. So, we can get a gross bandage, worn out socks, two minutes of battle, and that's pretty good. Brand new helmet increases defense by 20. Old shoes. Um, I'm gonna buy the brand new helmet. I'm gonna buy the healing item just in case. And, um,. I think we'll be fine here. We're not going to completely clean out the shop, but Carlos is good people. So that's fine. So here in the equipment, you can see we have 10% max HP, which is good. Give you a brand new helmet just to give you better defense. Increasing your strength is pretty good. Yellow stylish gloves increase the strength. If your HP is critical, we kind of want to avoid that if at all possible. All right. So I'll save I'll save some of that other stuff for later. So we got two dollars, whatever that means. Also, I picked up some other items. Um, recovers HP, revives a team member. Well, wait, what was that last one? Okay, I was wondering if some of those were like permanent stat increases, but 
You get to roll around as a ball, like like everybody does at school to get to classes on time. So it doesn't look like we have many more fights we can do here. Except for maybe Mr. Side Quest. Last time was a fluke, but I had a big breakfast today, so the outcome will surely be different. Are you ready? Yes, we're gonna battle. This guy wants to battle every day. Last time, he only had one HP. This time, I'm glad- I'm happy to see that he has more going on with him here. Like, oh my god. Holy shit. That was... He really did have a big breakfast today. Oh! Nice combo hit. Ha! Oh no! Actually got defeated by this dude. So he ate his Wheaties. We can retry the battle, load from autosave, so... It's actually my first defeat in this game. Like I said, the difficulty just increased a little bit, but... All we need to do is just... Not get hit by his big nasty throw. There we go, that's what I need to be doing here. I wonder if countering it'll actually, um... Do a lot of damage. Good thing I'm not getting a line foul there. So, that battle wasn't any different, I just did better with it. So we're doing Undertale strats and just being able to reset out of any bad issue. We got juice. Gross, but okay. Hey, you three, first day at class. All your classes are held in the second floor. The principal's office is also up there if you need anything. Yay! So, like I said, we all we all love running into people while rolling at them and throwing a dodgeball at them. I'm already so tired. Me too. I didn't come here to school. I came here to um, throw a dodgeball at a treasure chest. That's not a treasure chest. Damn. Ow. I promised Principal I'd give him my absolute best this year. I'll make him proud. Well, that's nice. This is, doesn't seem to be the way I'm trying to go. Whoop. Side quest. What do you got? Hey, can you help me out here? It's spring your equipment day and, well, I forgot mine. Can you hop over to the Dodge Shop and buy me some gear? Just buy me anything. Anything will do. Here's some money. We got six dollars. Well... An impulse purchase. Just get me anything from the Dodge Shop. Just so I don't shop in the Hapton. Um, I already bought some extra stuff. Can I just give you my gross bandage? That would be, that'd be lovely. Okay, which door is this? Is this the door I need to go to? Yep, that's Fortunato. It's like Patches O'Houlihan. You three, slightly late. I'll let it pass this time since it's the first day and all. Today we'll learn about ball time moves. Yesterday your hidden abilities were awakened when you touched the hero's dodgeball. Today you'll learn how to unleash them. Ooh. Let's have a match to start things. Ooh, what kind of school is this? Oh look, they have like... They have like math everywhere. Let's see, how about Mina and... Who's me, 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 me? Mina and Otto. So, we're good friends! Okay, first let me teach you about charge throws. All students are different, so we encourage you to experiment. Charge your throw by holding X for a bit before letting go. Now let me start with auto. Okay, so we're tutorialing again. Okay, so set someone on fire. Oh wow, I can shoot fire? Very good. Oh yeah, a shocking throw? Mine is so awesome! Okay, so set her on fire again. Obviously, I need to be set on lightning just for fairness sake. 
Okay, so that's interesting. I've been- I just previously not been doing anything with the stick, but pulling the stick back actually changes how I throw. Ball time moves. Pay attention to the ball time meter below your HP meter. When it fills up, you can unleash a powerful attack. It fills graduate time, but you can also speed up by defending and catch your counter. Okay. Through the power of video games, we can fill this up. Yes. Remember to also pick up some balls when you unleash the ball time move. Alright. Let's, let's, let's see what happens when I get hit by this. Alright. Oh look, I'm already dead. And... Boop! It's pretty effective. That was incredible. I had no idea I could do that. Hmm. Very well done, a nice demonstration. Now, let's have Otto give it a go. Oh boy! That'll blast the ceiling off, so left trigger. Do we get more than one ball? Oh no! What? It just- what just happened? That was the most pathetic thing I've seen today. Hmm, ah yes. It appears you're still not awake in your full potential. Leave the time will come when you can realize a strong ball time move. Sure, it'll come when you need it the most. You just have to be patient. Oh. Performance anxiety. Guess Otto's more of a zero than a hero. Ha ha ha, Cubo's a jerk. Well, did you come with that on your own, or did Danny slip you a note? D -d -d this is notes from my ma, alright. Enough, you too. Hmm? This is most curious. It's though some people awaken their powers in highly stressful situations or other emotional trigger. Oh, there's probably one of those people. Everyone has their own pace. There's nothing to worry about. Ah! Pixie, you're late for class. Sorry, I was asked to bring some news. They're drawing teams to determine the the tournament brackets at the dome. They're doing it right now, so everyone's gotta go. Of course, it has to be now in the middle of the most important class. Very well. So everyone's gonna leave in an orderly manner. Oh my god, let's bounce to the dome. So look at everyone being all orderly. Hey, me and a cool team you got there. Of course, I only play at the best. Gotta head to the dome right now. Thanks for the warning. Oh, don't thank me. I never miss a chance to wipe the floor with me in his face. So you better get in that tournament. In fact, my team's got an 83% chance of beating your team. You um, actually calculated that? Of course. And to be honest, our chance of winning was only 57.4 before you joined Balloony. Er. Anyway, head to the dome as soon as possible. So... What are you talking about? We're best buds! What? We've got a dodgeball rivalry for ages going on sure. It's stuff every sports bank is based on, but other than that, we're best buds. Right, I guess. Let's get to the dome. You alright, Balloony? Um, yeah. Let's hit the dome like a like a dodgeball. Oh yeah. The we got jokes in this game. Back in my day, kids were much more orderly. Grumble, grumble. Well, I'm just gonna roll out. Ow. Um. I guess we just go to the Thunder Dome, which is literally uh. Dome. Ow. Oh, we got a lot more fights we can do, though. So everyone's trying to get over their ASAP. Or they're running laps. Well, since this is a RPG, JRPG style, we can just pick our own fights. So we can't always set them on fire, but sometimes we can. I'm oh, actually taking a little bit of damage. Okay, so you're dead. Good counter. Let's see if we can do it like this. Alright. Hooray!
Okay, I'd like to get Mina up to level 7. Of course she lost. So we'll go to the Thunderdome after this. Oh good, I was getting to think now I'm going to show up for a battle, because everyone's supposed to be going to the damn tournament, you moron. Catch this. Ooh, whiffed on that like five times. Got caught looking. Okay, I just tried to use RB <laughs> to catch and I don't know why. Alright. See if I can take this Joker down, maybe. Alright. You only have one HP left. Catch! I said it's all very ridiculous. So we got another 15 cents for that. You're welcome. Yeah, that's the principal, I guess? The principal is a true icon. He still holds the record for most titles in the division of the w World Dodgeball Association. That's gotta be what that means. Okay, are we gonna be late to the party? I'm sure there's some secret I can get, like, up here. A chocolate truffle. That's what, that's what we like to see. And, like, maybe I can get over here just by jumping. Because, of course, I can jump on the overworld, and... I'm a little concerned about getting food items from these places. Look, everyone's waiting for me. All right, everyone, please be silent. Oh, hey, the trophy will surely be ours. I can't wait to see your wrecking first. Silence, please. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Why is everyone a trophy? I'm hungry. I just want to go home and play the... D oh, my God, this feels like teaching. Quiet down or I'll smash you to bits. Him? Good. Welcome everyone to the annual Dodgeball Academia Tournament. This is a golden chance for you all waiting for. Show your explosive potential to the world and look at that amazingly awful trophy. And this is how it's going to work. We'll draw teams randomly to fill a tournament bracket to participate. Each team must achieve three badges from the school staff. That's one badge per team member. Now which member of the staff you ask that you must find out on your own. Hoo -hoo. Wow, fortunately I got here really fast for bitching about us leaving class. We're still not officially in the tournament then? Yeah, keep track of your tempo. Find the staff members, complete their tasks, get their badges. Come back here, flash the badges, and score. You're officially qualified. So, get going. Vague directions. Where do you find the staff members with badges? Duh, Otto. First one we should do is... I'm hungry, okay? I can't think of an empty stomach. Here we go. So, we're going to the cafeteria. Start looking at the badges. So you guys don't have badges? Yeah, I kind of want to just play too. Alright. Well, let's roll out. Now if we look at the map here, because there is a map button. I don't think there's fast travel. Someone needs help. Where's the cafeteria? I'm guessing that's the cafeteria, okay. But yeah, this is Dodgeball Academia where you roll around and do shit, and there's that annoying kid named Danny. Stop right there, no one's allowed to go in the cafeteria before my team. The Knuckleheads, of course you named yourself the Knuckleheads. Are we gonna fight just you? You made a ball bigger. That's cute. Okay, so now you're winning. And now you're not. And now you're on fire. And now you're super on fire. 
Now you're really on fire. Now you're even more on fire. And you actually did damage to me, you jerk. Alright. That's supposed to be easy, and yet we still screwed it up. You're the worst guard. This is the lunch lady. Anything you want, you just talk to her. What's her name? We... We don't ask that, Otto. Uh, what do you want, little rascals? Take a look at my selection. 99 cents for a tournament badge, but where's my food? It should be free, but it's not. I'm saving up for my retirement. Plus, it's a challenge, right? Here's my challenge for you. Capitalism! Ho ho! Hey, I played Reseteer too. This can't be right. It's against the rules. See if I care, kiddo. No money, no item. By the way, thanks for your patronage. Yeah, and what do you know about rules anyway, Otto? Um, nothing. Forget about it. Here, this will be your badge, Baloney. Yay. Consider a school staff could be holding these badges. We should try the school monitors. Bet she's part of this. There's a forest? Of course there's a forest. Oh good, so there's like a forbidden section of uh, all this stuff. Ow. Let's see who needs help over here. If I could just not run into something. Oh no, I think I dropped my wall inside the trash bin after the time of my lunch, but I don't feel like reaching inside. Oh, would you help with this, Rafael? Do you think you borrow the grabber rod from George? Oh. You know, I could just reach in there and get it. That would be unsanitary. We know George is up here. Grab a rod. Oh, that thing. All right. But wait, how about you help me first? I really need to use the bathroom. Stay and watch the front desk for me. Sometimes people come for battles, too. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we'll watch the front desk. Now I just wait while we're trying to find badges. Look at us. Hey, where's George? We just in time for our battles. Uh, I'm taking care of those right now. Bring it on. So wait, I have to fight them instead of George? Okay. Okay. So, if you'll notice here that, uh, my precious teammate is sitting up in the, the top area right now, just waiting her turn to, uh, strike. This is... You need to just hit somebody in the face. There we go. Look at that battle. Alright, so victory's ours. I didn't need to worry about grinding under level. I thought we were gonna start a tournament. Who's next? I gotta, I gotta really fight everybody here. Okay. Well, let's pop Mia in here. Really, Mia. You're, you're not supposed to lose this. Okay, let's set you on electricity. Okay, that was. There we go. I need to stop screwing around with you. Too early. Alright, so she's out. Okay. Emmy is doing the nice assist thing from the back of the area. There we go. So there's some nice layers of strategy here, but also I'm a little concerned because I don't know how many balls I can hold all at once. You can set them on fire. Oh, good, and Mia still gets to get the ball. There we go. This should work out. All right, I should not have pushed X. There we go. Oh, man. The, the tears of defeat. 
and we get some pineapple pizza. Anybody else? Oh, good. So now it's just one versus three. Okay. So I can be cute holding these guys over in the corner for now, but I've really got to watch it here because I'm about to run out of energy. And if... Oh, by the way, if you let those balls sit there too long, they will explode, so can't just let it be. Oof. That's pretty good. Focus on not getting hit. Okay, so fortunately eliminating somebody is enough. Oh boy. Oh boy. Defeat! And I guess I'm gonna have to do that fight again, aren't I? So solo round because I screwed up and lost Mia. Whiff. Okay. Really need to not take bad damage here. So we know Purple Hair Kid is the one we really don't want to have hang around. Because he's got his meter filling up and he's level 17. So we'll focus fire or immediately die. That is also apparently an option. Okay, so we're just gonna run like hell from his super attack. Hooray. Oof. Alright, I'm gonna give this one more shot, and if uh, I don't get it, I'm just gonna auto-save and carry on, because I should be doing better here. I played really sloppy at the start. Would be really nice if I could get that kid, though. Okay, so she's out. Forgot how to catch a ball. Because if you know me at all, you know I am known for my twitch reflexes. Oh boy. What? Oh my god. This is this is a disaster. I love it. Oh no, I'm about to die. Can I just hit the dude in the back, please? Okay. So of course he starts with everything. Ooh, good change up. Alright. So I said, it's not all brain dead. Alright, so we're gonna, um... I'm gonna save somebody else later. Oh, look. Not letting anyone get near the school monitor. Not until knuckleheads get all their badges. Yeah, well... Time to test your new attack. I bet, buddy. Ooh, nice. That was pretty interesting. Yeah, I bet I would have done better with that if I had not lost my teammate at the beginning. I 
I mean, it's easy enough to dodge. Can I just set you on fire real quick, dude? Thank you. Need to get used to that anyway. Okay, cube face. There we go. Darn it! You got me this time, but I'll get you next time. Just you wait. And here's a person. Stop perpetuating this scholastic legend. There's no ghost living in the forest. But mate, smiling ghost ain't no legend. The smiling ghost does not exist. Hark! He does exist. That's the little pirate person. He smiles even more. So, sorry, but we're trying to earn a badge here. Excuse me, student. I am attending my duties here. Stop trying to spread hoaxes around the school. We go up for smiling ghosts. Thanks. As you might know, I'm in charge of maintaining order on the school grounds. That includes dealing with students who go against rules, like the sooner or they're defiling one of our historic fountains. Alright, so we gotta go over there. Alright. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna try to get to the tournament. At least I know that'll make this video a little bit longer. Than maybe usual, but it's okay. I haven't gotten to record much this week because of work, so. There's Vampy. She wants coins from the fountain. Her older brother is a big bully. Alright, so. Come on. That's really interesting, because usually I am, like, fantastic at, like, tapping stuff. There we go. Let's. Are you weak to fire or something? Because you're literally a vampire. That would make some sense. Also... Alright. So we can go over the line and hit somebody. Now there, now there was another dodgeball game that came out recently from uh, EA that was... I forget what it's called. Um, but I like this one more. I just need to do a better job of actually hitting my opponent here. Okay, can I actually do my thing? Nope. Well, it's good to know that I can still have some performance issues. I'll just set you on fire just a little bit. There we go. More progress. Can't pick up those coins. They're ruining someone else's dream. We're just protecting the school's property. It's nothing personal. Get my shiny some other time. Let's report back to the monitor. Hooray. So we, we ruined somebody's hopes and dreams by trying to save other people's hopes and dreams. This is the way, I guess. Alright, you're a scary looking monitor, by the way. Well, already it's a good thing you're all here at the school. You're public minister, regular society, except for Baloney. Everyone knows he wouldn't hurt a fly. You don't have to say it like that. The fly would definitely kick his butt. That's only happened once. There's a lot more where that came from. Keep it up in check or I'll be coming for you. Well, you've earned a badge. Here you go. So how's everyone else getting a badge? No, ball time moves outside of matches. You don't need any more structures getting smashed. Uh, and I will arrest you. I'll lock in detention for the rest of your life, and you don't want to get arrested. No, ma'am. How about we check the infirmary next? 
All right, well, before we go to the infirmary... Hey, look, the infirmary's open. Oh, so we are automatically getting healed all the time. Oh, you got a platinum certificate because Mina's little backstory is that she kept hurting people and sending them to the infirmary, so I guess they like that. We're gonna go buy something from the shop. Ow. Sup, Carlos? Wow, we can only buy worn out socks. So we are not going to buy anything from the shop. And I should have saved buying that bandage until later. That's okay. I guess that bandage is pretty important now that um, I'm not going to be getting automatically healed. Since I didn't even realize I was getting automatically healed. Good to know. Almost. You can always come here to cover in case you get hurt practicing our barbaric and violent sport of choice. Don't be scared. Alright, so, sup, nurse? Welcome to the infirmary. Take medicine. You'll be up and running in no time. Thanks, brah. Ah, feeling so good. I think I can take on anyone now. Ugh. Getting patched up even after getting your butts kicked. Oh, look, it's our friends. Our butts are fine, thank you. Say, have you got a cube-shaped butt, too? No, I'm not even getting that image out of my brain. Look, we have a brand new team member. What your butt's looking at, huh? Okay, greaser. You bet it ain't. This This is a shakedown. That's right, hand over your badge. Uh, um, how about no? Hey, Cubo. Taking rough of isn't working. Uh, then we'll, um... Really didn't think this through. We're talking Bloom Boy's badge. I got it. What? what? The badge is ours. Nope, I give it back. Auto bought it. Oh, so it's not actually yours, is it? It's a dirty trick. I'm not having it. Oh, good. Oh, no, 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 no. Please take it outside. I mean, let's solve this on the court just outside. Man, I was hoping to fight in a hospital lobby. Since I guess technically that's what everybody else wants to do. Oh, that's right, I can jump. I always forget about that. Because I remember there were some really good moves you could do in the old NES dodgeball game that involved jumping. Let's switch it up. Okay. That was not the best counter. Oh, did that spread damage? Nice. So pathetic, Louie doesn't even attempt to fight back. Oh, oh. Hey, cut it out. You have no right to talk like that. What a joke. Hiding behind friends' backs. What did I say? Stop it. Uh-oh. Limbs boy can't even get anything done. You don't get to say those things and I'm around. What you gonna do? Are you babysitting him? I won't allow the- uh-oh. Did we just kill their entire team? Alright, so we got an achievement for a cutscene move. It's fine, though. Because they're all about to, um... There we go. So one down, another down shortly, and then it's a greaser-haired punk there. Unfortunately, both of them kind of have annoying moves. Let's switch it back. Yeah, there's a lot to watch on screen. It's a... Uh, it's pretty intense. And see, now they're gonna be able to hit us all from behind and do damage from behind. And then he'll be able to catch this really easy. It would be nice if she dodged. So I imagine I have a lot of damage I'm going to have to deal with here in just a minute. Yeah, 
There we go. So her meter filled up. I gotta switch to it real quick, but... I made them all very upset. So we learned... Flaming Resolve, your charge third now deals more burn damage, so that's from level 10. Cool. Why put as much energy to their dodgeballs they put in the scheming? That really isn't sportsmanship at all. They should get a penalty card. Ah! You sound like a referee. I... I don't... They just should. What's wrong, Blooney? They took advantage of me because I'm the weakest. They took my badge. Hey, it's cool. They're the ones acting like jerks. Let's go buy another one at the cafeteria. Fine. Mm, so if we look at our menu now, we are very ouchy. And we need our medicines. Welcome to the infirmary. Take this medicine and everything is fine. Alright. So you see me rolling. Oh, by the way, there's um our mystical, magical, perpetually spinning dodgeball. Fun times. I'm gonna perpetually spin into every single wall and person I've already beat up imaginable. All right. Came to buy another badge. Sure, kid. Buy anything you want. Okay. What the? Why is it so expensive? These badges have become scarce items sought over all the school. It means the price goes up. It's supply and demand. So, free mark is no good. Throwing a dodgeball. Hey, you sound troubled. Just so happens I have a spare badge I bought earlier. Oh, would you be willing to give it away? We need it. Ugh, Seneco, are you even taking part in the tournament? I'm really not into that. All those rules may be soft for me from the past one of... Ooh, ooh. I want real battles with the real stakes. The matches on the fringes of the tournament, those are the real deal. Hell, we fight for this badge here. The winner can take it for themselves. Sounds fair. What do you know? More fighting. Everything can be solved with fighting. Wait, what was that? She's using focus. She will hold her focus for long enough she gets a special effect. And one more thing, you can only focus if there are balls the opponent's field. Okay, we could start by um Rather her not focus. sure what, my, what the focus is actually doing other than um, being the meter here, but she certainly looks scary as AF. Whew! Sniped. That was not very strong. And I'm about to die. And we're about to have a ball just blow up in my face. There we go! And I'm dead. Oh, we're not gonna win the badge! I'll retry one more time, but honestly... This may be something where I need to... Kind of fail at the tutorial a little bit here. So I need to focus on not getting killed by her. She's apparently a really... Can't focus because I need a... She can focus because there's balls on this side. And it looks like she has extra strength. Also, I can't... I'm not doing a great job hitting her. Alright. That's a start. That's a... Pretty big hit. Okay, I'm probably dead again, but it's it's fine. Everything is fine. 
She did not stipe, snipe me, though. Just really need that one fire damage to go through before I get killed. Because I did set her on fire. There we go! Alright, so spark gap. Fun times. Hmm. You're quite capable once you reset, so here, you've earned a badge. So, hooray. Thanks. Don't get used to it. Um, the badge is meant to be a test for the whole team. He's right. Testing our resource management and our physical aptitude. Could brains be the next test? Let's try the library. Alright, I was gonna see if I could stop there, but I've gotta I've gotta take y'all to the library, cause library's fun. And apparently I'm really wanting to roll like this. Should I stop at the infirmary on the way? I absolutely should. It doesn't cost any money. But it makes me wonder if I should put the gross bandage on instead. Because we have defense. Max HP is okay. I think putting a gross bandage on is nice too. Alright, so we'll roll over to the library and see if I can already fail at this game even more. Hello, library. Excuse me. Ah, it's the loud boy from yesterday. You have a badge and I know it, ma'am. Oh god, you're so loud. You'll never get it. Wow, she really does have one. My test is one of intelligence, wits, and sharp mind, but I can see that your cap is squeezing that brain into jello. Really, try me. I, I, I could answer the quiz for you, Otto. Nah, curious about the state of my jello brain. Very well. Here it goes. Question one, which of these is called a radius? Um... The most radioactive element, the distance to the center of the surface of a sphere. Century old device, listen to music. Ah, that's correct. Next question. How do you calculate a sphere's radius given its diameter? Its diameter divided by two. Very good. Next question. What is the lunch lady's real name? How am I supposed to know that? Just answer the question. Shh. You're stepping on really thin ice, kids. Again. What's the lunch lady's real name? No one knows. You haven't been paying attention, I see. Alright, let's see what your final score is. Got him alright. I'm amazed, kid. I might have underestimated your jello brain. Here, take the badge. The squeezing brain makes it work better. Oh, now I'm more convinced quizzes are not a valid pedagogical tool. Ha! Ah! You have to design your assessment based on what you've been learning. You don't just sit there and throw quizzes at people. It's basic It's basic teaching that teachers don't seem to understand. If you just say, I'm going to use a quiz as a punishment, you're teaching people that quizzes are punishment. You're not teaching them to... Quizzes should be there to reinforce the material that you've learned. And this game has done nothing to talk about diameters. I am actually outrunning the game camera. That's amazing. Oh, look, it's your stupid face. Good time, too. I really needed to fight. Relax a little bit. Okay. Did you, like, leave your team again? Okay. okay I'm very curious about what I'm getting myself into here. That's enough. Our little scuffle in the infirmary today may come with a new trick. A way to help my uh, Anikis who are hurt in battle, my focus ability, I'm going to transfer HP to my allies. Well, that's fascinating. Hurts me a little, but if it's for my, if it's for my peeps.
what's your focus ability then? Fearless protagonist person. Well then let's set your buddies on fire then. gonna be able to hit somebody with that? Looks like it. Okay. So he's been too focused on healing. Alright. Okay, you're down. So now it's just your bud left. I don't know what my focus ability does other than um, fill up my meter. Oh, we beat you again. Uh, nice going. Well, I guess I at least managed to relax a little bit before the tournament, so that's nice. So if we look over here. Charge helps fill your ball time meter as long as you keep focusing. Okay. Increase your strength level on the field if you're able to hold focus for long enough. So, good to know. Let's use. We have all the healing items in the world. Permanently increases agility. So I like that they have likes and dislikes. So. Uh oh. Didn't pay attention that she's allergic to that, so... There we go. So that's something I'll have to keep track of. Alright, so let's roll into here. Like I said, I should really stop this recording right now. And just say, this is Dodgeball Academia, but you know what, we've, we've played long enough. Let's at least see what the tournament looks like. We're here and we're all badged up. Great! Let me count them. One, two, three, let's go! Although... Hello, oh, three. Pretty right. We already drawn the tournament brackets. He'll be filling the last spot. Uh, aww. But I can't tell that we'll have the very first match soon, so later today. At last, we'll actually be playing the first match of your team. Oh! We'll be facing the Knuckleheads. Oh. You mean Kubo's team? That's actually a great chance getting back at him for stealing our badge. Uh uh. Don't worry, Balloony. You don't need to fight yet. Mina and I will take care of him. Take the time you need to prepare yourselves, and when you're ready, the principal will be just outside the dome waiting for you. So... You know what I'll do? I'll leave it to you guys here, because we're at an hour. Like I said, I've been enjoying this game quite a bit. So if y'all want to see sort of what the tournament looks like, definitely leave your thoughts in the comments. But I'm going to put it there and just say, this is Dodgeball Academia. On a lot of very strong releases today, this has been the one I've enjoyed the most. It's... What's the one? I really... I was just really surprised. I am really surprised. But, uh, yeah, give me a cheesy game like this any day of the week. I'm just going to save this here, but I'm going to save it on a different slot as well. Just so that I can pick up right here if you guys request it. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. This is Asher. Like the video if you liked it. Leave thoughts in the comments. Tell me if you want to see the actual tournament in action. And we'll do this again soon. Y'all take care.